Hi there, um, this is uh, Lito Sandit and I'm Ricardo. Uh, today I'm here at the uh, perfume shop downtown Vancouver um, with uh, my friend Kathy. Kathy, say hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah. And also um, the owner is here too. Um, her name is Nas. Hi. Yeah, there you go. So um, this shop is like uh, downtown Vancouver and uh, has lots of uh, European um, niche and Alright, so this is a shop and uh, there are a couple houses here. Uh, check out this one, the uh, Amarges and the bottle, you know, like you never seen it um, like that. I, I never seen it and apparently this is the older bottle of the uh, Amarge and uh, yeah, it's pretty unique. I actually wish uh, they keep the, keep the older bottle for the current one actually right now, but I guess it's more modern. So next one is uh, Clyde Christian here, uh, one of the most expensive perfume. That is so pretty. Yeah, it's so good. And then this is uh, the MDCI. Thank you. Uh, it's like handmade perfume, which is really good quality. I smelled it, a couple of them just now, and yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, this one is the Francesco. It's a kind of kind of animatic, you know. Maybe it's not for everyone, but it's really good quality. I have the dark side. I really like it. Uh, she has a uh, Cartusia, very uh, one of the oldest, not the oldest, but like a uh, long time the perfumery from uh, Italy. I have the uh, Fiori di Capri. It's really good. Okay, popular ones here. Yeah, you can just see it's Bra 1920 and the uh, Lorenzo Violoresi. There's some rare ones here too. It's like the Strange Invisible. Uh, they use a uh, Natural, natural perfumery. I think their their things smell like uh, uh, essential oils. If you are into natural, you can check this out. But they are pricey. Yep, these are the liquors. Uh, uh, liquor Imaginaire and the uh, Flappings. They're all here. I'm a fan of a Fuji San and. Uh, yeah, it's really good to check out. Montel's here. Montel's, Montel's. Sorry, not Montel's, Mon Mancera. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so yeah, now you have the whole idea about the shop. And um, actually today the topic was, uh, we're gonna talk about like uh, how many how many sprays do you put for your for your um, lover perfume, you know, like uh, the other day, uh, I share stories. The other day, I went to visit my friend, and then I just put on four spray of uh, black orchid, which that one is a really polarizing scent, and then actually some people really don't like it, you know, like that kind of thing. But that thing is really strong, so she got choked out, and uh, and then he started like educating me about like what to do with the perfumes and uh yeah so so like you know there are you youtubers on youtube right now and say like maybe you put like five sprays some say uh six sprays seven sprays but um uh so today we're gonna talk about like how many sprays do you put it there you know ah uh, so i gotta ask uh, kathy a question so kathy yeah <laughs> sorry about that yeah, sorry to interrupt you, and um, yeah, so I'll ask you a question. So, uh, how many sprays of uh, perfumes do you think you should put? Like perfume-wise, when you say perfume, if you say EDP, EDT, extract, like for me, usually when I use 
all the perform I'll do maybe like three, four. Mm -hmm. And okay. then if it's all the toilet, I'll probably do like five, six. And then if it's a higher concentration, depends the smell, I'll probably do like one. Or two. Like one. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, like uh, we as a fragrance hat, like we don't mind. Like for me, I like the scent, I'll put a lot. Because it's like a song, like if I like the song, I will turn it up the volume so that I can hear all the uh, melody and the lyrics very clear. Uh, same thing as the scent, like I would, I would just uh, put it to the point that like I smell the scent clearly, like I smell like, oh the top note, um, top note, like middle note, bass note, you know, like just like the song. But, uh, but for like non-freak hats, uh, I think it's a different kind of thing. So if you in a show show live, I think even though YouTubers say that way, but like uh, I think I have my own theory about it. Uh, after I visit my friend last week, so my theory is that you know uh, he, my friend actually suggests me put perfume or cologne uh, as much as you like, kind of have some smell, uh, which means you know like even is the same EDP or EDT. It depends on the strength, so you even some EDT you might or EDC even cologne, you might even only need uh, one spray. So how do you decide? You know. Ah, by the way, so I'm just gonna share first quickly about what I got today, and uh, yeah, look at it. <laughs> Can't see it. So this one is uh, what I got today. It's the uh, liquor imaginary, the uh, uh, bloody wood, which is. Uh, Red wine scent. I really like it. Uh, I have Don Rosa, and I've been a fan of the uh, liquor fragrance. And you know, I just keep buying more and more. And, yeah, I bought Don Rosa first, and uh, now this one. But to be honest, uh, I like this one better because uh, this one has the a little bit of the dominance in it. Yeah, so awesome. Yeah, so uh, my theory about how many spray you put is basically like you smell you smell the, the fragrance of the bottle. Some people like to put it inside the cap, like spray inside the cap, uh, which I'm not a fan because I think it kind of like make the cap dirty because it's grease, right? It might attract some dust. That's my thing. But if you do that, <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it, it can be done. It's okay, I think. So basically, um, uh, I would smell it and then decide like from scale 1 to 10, like you go to a doctor, you, they ask you that question from scale 1 to 10, how much you feeling it, like of this scent. So I think about this one, actually you know what, let me ask Cathy first. So, so from scale 1 to 10, how strong do you think this is? What this is so good. I don't care. I'm gonna spray <laughs> 30 times and then I'm gonna choke somebody else. I don't care because this smells so good. That's <laughs> maybe like 30 sprays. <laughs> okay. I think like, it's so good. It, it is, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'll, I'll send you a decan for sure, you know, because. <laughs> because uh, yeah. Okay, but, but that is right. I will do that, but like for the. Show show like wisdom kind of what kind of thing like as say like you go into the work um, show show event I think to this one so if you have like a scale of ten uh, then I highly suggest you put like maybe half spray or one because yeah it's uh like even you try to say attract a girl to be honest if you really need that strong scent to attract I think it's not working. Like, it's it's better if you attract that girl, it, she will come that close to smell you anyway. Anyway, so this one I think is more like a more like a five. So then you can put more spray to it. So what I would do is like um, I spray like here. Okay, so and then like pause for three, maybe one one or one to three seconds and. You know, like right now I'm smelling something. I think, I think it's enough. Yeah, that's it. So, 
Yeah, so by then it's really good. I will go ahead and put one more. Yeah, so the you can feel the the aroma is coming upwards. And uh, you know, in this uh, society, actually, lots of people with uh, very sensitive nose, and I think uh, this this kind of level of uh, 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 of the appliance is uh, good enough for me. So uh, yeah, like. Uh, so that's my suggestion actually, but you can always uh, do more if you go like frequency meeting or something. But yeah, I think for now this is the it's a good idea. So yeah, let me let me know what you think. Um, like my what do you think about my suggestion and yeah, like how much uh, do you put usually? Okay, um, yeah, I run out of word to say. So I guess I will see you uh, next time. Bye.